It's not about how you look, it's about how you see. So here I am using this selfie stick for the first time. I saw this lady using it at the airport and I thought it looked really cool, so I just went over and asked her if I could use it, and she let me give it a whirl. And I had a lot of fun with it, so I set the intention to get one myself, and actually the very next day in Thailand, I got one as soon as I got off the airplane. Some guy just walked right up and offered me one. Here's Chloe getting some mangoes at the airport as if it's a fruit market. And here on the plane, she's reading Anne Osborne's Fruitarianism, Pat the Paradise. Hey guys, just arrived in Bangkok, Thailand. And coming from Bali, driving driving's interesting in Bali because there are seat belts in the cars, but nobody wears them except the driver. And whenever you do put on a seatbelt, you look around and no one else wearing seatbelts, you just take it off and you just fit in. But here in Thailand, there are no seatbelts. There are no seatbelts. There's nothing. You just get in the car and you just... Seatbelts don't exist. They don't have that mentality for seatbelts. They figure if you're in the back seat, you're all good. But if you're the driver, then you got, you got a seatbelt here. If you're in the front, you got a seatbelt. So, interesting uh, feature that Thailand cars have. How good, Chloe? Mm -hmm. So good. So good. So good. Bangkok, Thailand. Yeah. Hey. We're, at, hey, hey. we're at Two's place. Beautiful place. Check it out. It's a little, uh, just a little homestay place, and it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like, really good vibes. Really good vibes. <laughs> so when you're filming with an iPhone, you always, it's, it's, automatically you want to look here, right? On the screen? But you actually want to look there. Because when you look here, you're making eye contact with the viewer. And it's very powerful to make eye contact with the viewer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not with your own face. Right. I've got a couple videos up and like top comments on both of them are like, Ted, look at the... That guy. Uh -huh. Not that guy. <laughs> Tied to the land. Tied to the land. Yeah, where are we going to go? <laughs> So just uh, just dropped our bags off at a homestay here in Bangkok, and we're off to find some deliciousness. Probably some mangoes. Probably. Probably some mangoes, and uh, we actually found some persimmons already, which is such a blessing because we both love persimmons. But they're not quite ripe. So for all those people who say you can eat them unripe. You can, do, you can do a lot of things, but you want to do the best things in life. We could have flown anywhere, but we flew to the best place, Thailand. So, with persimmons, sure, you can eat them unripe. You can eat unripe almost anything, but the best thing to do is to let them ripen up. You have to be patient in this life. Patience is sweet. <laughs> to reap the ultimate benefits. That's right. Okay, and music video, take one, go! Walking down the street, Bangkok. About to go get some delicious fruit. This is sick. Check out these angles. Look at that. Oh, what's up? Who films like that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing. You gotta watch over the power lines, though. You get zapped. Great mango. 
75 cents US for a big bag of mangoes. Fantastic price, fantastic flavor. We're not alone here though. It may look like we're alone, but check it out. Plenty of friends that we just haven't met yet. What street is this, Chloe? Oak Sand Road. Oak Sand Road? Oak Sand Road. If you're in Thailand, check out Oak Sand Road. No, Koh Sand Road. Could be riper for sure. Yeah. Could be a lot riper. Now we know. Those suckers gotta be. Pick this side of it. Those it's suckers awesome. gotta be. Uh, <laughs> Definitely weren't meant to eat it. I mean, we were meant to drop it. We just still got the side that's maybe we should just leave it. Maybe let's go further down the road and see if we can. Sometimes life makes it easy for you. You can set up the, you set up the intention of thinking like, nah, bro, I don't really want to eat it. Next thing you know, it slips out of your hand and drops. Makes the, makes the decision for you. Makes life easy. Go with it. Go with the flow. You drop it. Don't get upset. You didn't want to eat it anyway. Give it to that little mouse. The mouse wants it. The mouse doesn't mind. So, picked up some papaya. It doesn't look like much, but it's actually like this is half of a full on papaya. Some more mango. Too. And we get some more mango. All for 60 baht. So we got an entire papaya and a mango for 60 baht. And it's, this is our dinner. Pretty much the last meal of the night. Too easy. It's too easy. Mm -hmm. You set the intention for some sweet, juicy fruit, and it's like. Hello, I am sweet, juicy fruit. It finds you. <laughs> you don't even need to find it. You just set the intention, go about your day, and you match the frequency that you're vibrating. You match the frequency that you're on. Mm -hmm. So just give off those good, yummy vibes. And you get some good yummy vibes back. Such vibe. yumminess. Man, the street is filled with all sorts of things like fried scorpions and fried spiders and uh, rats whatever and else they can KFC, buy. whatever else they can cook up, a bunch of noodles and everything, vegan rice bowls and etc. But you can find quality, best fruit in the world, quality fruit here in Thailand with ease, especially here in Bangkok. For cheap, if you're on a budget, man, you can you can live on less than five bucks a day here with the fruit. So damn cheap, so damn good. Enjoy it. 